In this time of reflection, I'll lead you through an exercise using your imagination. They will be images to work with, scripture, and silence. Whenever something resonates with you, stay with it as long as you want. Use pause as needed. As we begin, I invite you to compose yourself for prayer. If possible, where you are sitting, place your feet firmly on the ground. Find a comfortable posture, one where you can be relaxed but alert. Become aware of your body. Is there pain or tension? Is your body trying to tell you something you've been pushing aside? Listen for what your body is saying. Take a moment to breathe deeply. As you breathe in, take in God's peace and love. Breathe life into those places of tension or pain in your body. As you breathe out, let go of anxieties, tension, and distractions. Acknowledge that you are held in God's loving care. Ask the Spirit of Life to guide you. And if you can, name what you need in this time of quiet. Now imagine that you are surrounded by trees. Perhaps you are in your yard, your favorite park, a forest. It is autumn now. Look around and notice what catches your attention. Consider this changing season. Fall is a time of transition. The trees show us the cycle of letting go and death, leading to new life and fruit. Picture now a particular tree, one that has been planted and rooted with care and love. Imagine that you are that tree. Let the image emerge. Don't work at it too hard. Just let yourself be the tree. Feel what it is like to be that tree, planted and rooted with care and love. Feel your roots, your trunk, your branches, and even your leaves. What is the fruit that has been born in the last season that you can savor and celebrate? Name one or two things and savor them for a moment. In the fall, 
after the tree has been fed all summer by taking in light, its leaves die and fall away. Are there leaves that are falling away for you? Does anything feel like it is dying in you? As the leaves fall from the tree, in their place, what is needed for the buds of next spring are left behind, protected from the elements. How are you feeling about the possibility of new life lying dormant and protected somewhere within you? How are you feeling about winter coming? About the necessity of letting your leaves go? The roots of trees also continue to sustain the life of the tree. As the visible signs of life fall away, something continues to happen in the depths, under the surface, at our roots and in our core. Listen to Ephesians 3, 16 to 19. I pray that according to the riches of God's glory, God may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through God's Spirit and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. And I pray that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have power, together with the Lord's people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. What does it mean for you to be rooted and grounded in love? What might you need to restore or increase your rootedness. Stay with the images and thoughts that have resonated with you. Fruit to celebrate. Dying leaves. Protected buds. Roots sustaining life. Talk with God about anything that surfaces for you. Concerns, gifts, fears, questions. Take a moment to just be still and be with God in what has surfaced for you. It's okay if things haven't come to resolution for you yet. You can return at any time to the images, words, questions, or concerns that remain.
Our closing prayer is a poem by Alicia Dykstra from the book When Trees Speak, Poems About Trees. Do trees lament their loss of leaves? Or is their multicolored splendor their way of celebrating what was or what is yet to come? Their tall and stately silhouettes, standing sentinel for hope, teaching us that seasons pass. That life is for living, that winter brings blessings of bright colored birds, sustenance from the past fruit, memories and stories, branches that light the fire of love. Amen.